The Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. It seems as if everyone wants me to put this phone to the test. Last time I used the S22 Plus, it didn't even last a full day, so hopefully the S22 Ultra can redeem its smaller brother. Welcome to another day in my life. Today I woke up at 8.35 am. My mornings usually consist of me just catching up and preparing myself for the day. I like to check my emails and things that I missed overnight. I think I might have a long day ahead of me because for one, I have to hit the gym, have a couple of morning meetings, content to film, grocery shopping, and I need to link up with my friend Ty. So yes, the S22 Ultra has a lot to go through today. For breakfast, I had the eggs, the bacons, and just look at that beauty so scrumptious now while eating breakfast i just went on to twitter instagram and also tiktok you know just to see how we're doing how much we're thriving and just to my surprise one of my phone war series on tiktok caught a lot of heat just finished eating breakfast it's currently 9 40 8 9 49 am right now we have 94 percent battery life and one of my videos blew up on tiktok it has over 870k views and basically iPhone users can't accept the fact that the S22 Ultra has better zoom. So now they're saying that the iPhone has better zoom transitions. Basically like when you zoom in and zoom out, it's smoother on the iPhone. Anyways, now it's time to head out to the gym. Let's go. So this morning I got to the gym kind of late at around 20 minutes after 10. I wasn't the most energized though, probably because I only got 5 hours of sleep, which is not good. The Galaxy Watch 4 did came in clutch, tracked things like my calories burned while sleeping, and also my ECG levels. Surprisingly, the Samsung Health app shows you the amount of time you snored. Thankfully, I didn't snore last night. My future wife should be proud. Alright guys, so here we are, Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra UHD 4K 30. 3 times zoom, 10 times zoom, and we could zoom into 20 times, insane. So if we go all the way back down here, look how far that was. Also of course with the S22 Ultra, we could switch while recording. So right now I'm on the front facing camera, I could just switch the camera and I'm still recording. I could even pause the video. What do you guys think about the S22 camera? Also have autofocus, so I could like... Now blurred background on the front facing camera, pretty insane. Listening to music at the gym is a must. So I have my Bluetooth turned on and also data running in the background so I could stream music from Spotify. While working out, I had to hit my traditional day in the life tweet to keep you guys in the loop. So if you made it to this tweet, just know you're goaded. One thing to note though is that the S22 Ultra is not a small device. So if you're working out at the gym and like to keep your devices in your pockets, it's going to stick out like a sore thumb. Enough of me talking. Now it's time to go up and I have to join a meeting. So let's go. My meeting with Doug lasted for about 30 minutes. Yes, it did take a little hit on the battery life, but I didn't have enough time to set up my PC and webcam and all of that, so I just hopped on the S22 Ultra. Appreciate it, Doug. Take care. After that, I was about to take a shower and realized Journal wanted to post my viral TikTok on their Snapchat discovery page, so I just gave them permission, even though, you know, it's free promo or whatever, but it's cool anyways. Whenever I'm taking a shower, I love to play music in the background, and I think the S22 Ultra did a good job. It could have been loud in my opinion but when the show was running at full blast i could still hear the lyrics i could still hear the sound so yeah i think it's a pass all right guys quick update just got out the shower it's 12 51 we have 65 percent battery life left there's a couple things i still need to do before we head out today i have to film a tiktok and also like a youtube video so we have to do that real quick because time is against us I also just got a text from Tyler for me to choose the um, headshot that I need for the podcast that's going to go up soon and apparently it's going up on Tuesday so I just need to send him like a picture. I went into Google Photos and found a headshot that I thought looked cool. It's my current YouTube profile picture so I hope it's good enough. I even think the podcast is up right now so I'll leave a link to that down below in the description. So while I was editing on the S22 Ultra, I was using my thumbs a lot, you know, just editing like a regular person. Silly me, I forgot I had the S Pen tucked away. I've never been too big on using S Pens in the past, but let me tell you, it's a night and day difference. The S Pen made it easy to cut up clips, make adjustments to the timeline. Yes, I had to briefly use my fingers to zoom into the clip from time to time, but I found that it definitely sped up my editing process. I guess that's one way so far that the S Pen could be really useful in my day-to-day -day life. There weren't any hiccups chopping up 4K videos from my iPhone or the S22 Ultra. 
The playback was smooth and exporting was pretty fast thanks to that Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipset inside. So if you want, you could go over to TikTok to check out the final results. Consuming media on the S22 Ultra is always a great experience. We have a 6.8 inch AMOLED display that is really vibrant and sharp thanks to the WQHD support. The screen is running at a very fluid 120Hz refresh rate and this is extremely noticeable when scrolling through social media, through email threads or your Twitter feed. Watching YouTube videos on here in the mornings is also a joy. The colors on the S22 Ultra display is one of the best I've seen with deep blacks, good contrast, making for a great viewing experience. I can only imagine watching movies on here with Dolby Atmos enabled, especially watching something like Top Gun Maverick. Just before I headed out to the grocery store, I hopped on a little four minute call my boy Ty. He just moved to Toronto, so we're just trying to see what's the motives for today. Go, go, go. Yeah. Man, man, man. I only stop working if the work stop, but the work don't stop, so I never stop working. I just touched down, I'm new in town, but you know where the mouth was quick. The S22 Ultra's cameras are very versatile and performs well outside. It's very sharp, especially that 10 megapixel telephoto camera that allows me to zoom into things like this. Yes, that's the S22 Ultra at 10 times optical zoom. And even though I've been using this phone for over three weeks now, the quality is still amazing. Times in the you know friends get worse when you search for your purpose. From the school face cap with a gal, them trap go blind to black like Jolie. I run a cat, they switched on me. Look who's so on the way to the grocery store i decided to make a list of the things i wanted and today was hot so walking with the s22 ultra held up pretty well in terms of brightness outside i had no issues with seeing what's going on on the screen even with my sunglasses on there's just something fun about using the s pen to write down an actual grocery list yes i could have just typed up the text but having the pen and actually just writing things down on the screen and you hear that paper like effect it's just something to experience. While I was very close to the grocery store, I stumbled up on a TD bank and I went in just to make a deposit I forgot I had to make and we took some pictures in the Esplanade just to test out the cameras on the S22 Ultra. I kinda got carried away with taking pictures and ended up at this dog park. So I tested out the portrait mode and it turned out pretty sharp, I'm not gonna lie. And it was working well with animals. So it roughly took me around 15 to 20 minutes to get everything I needed, checked off my list with the S Pen of course, and I even used Samsung Pay at checkout and it worked flawlessly. So as I was walking outside the grocery store, I decided to call an Uber because of all the bags I had and hopped in the Uber, it came super quick surprisingly. I just replied to some DMs on my way home and by 5.35pm I got the critical low battery warning and my S22 Ultra went into power saving mode at 5% battery. I was a bit disappointed though because it died as soon as I got home. All right, so it's currently 5.38 right now and S22 is dead. So I'm just gonna charge this up right now because I still have a couple things that I need to do. So I'm using this charger from Power Arc. It's connected to a 65 watt brick and boom. To get some juice in the S22 Ultra. One thing I love about the S22 Ultras or just the Samsung Galaxy devices is that it tells you how many like hours or minutes are left until full charge. So this will be a pretty interesting test as well to see how long it takes to go from zero to a hundred. Not sure if it will go to a hundred by the time we're here, but yeah, leave that to charge. And then I'm starving. Alright, so we just finished up eating. Food was good. Now it's time to check in with the S22 Ultra. It has been charging for a while now. Let's see. 74%. That's actually pretty good. So 32 minutes until full charge. Fast charging, 74%. But we have to leave now anyways. I'm actually going to check up on my TikTok that we did earlier this morning. Let's see how that's going. 24K. Not bad. 24K. I'll take it. And over 246 comments edited on the S22 Ultra. So for everybody that's saying you can't do social media content on the S22 Ultra, 
we just did it today. Last thing that I need to check is the battery. So we're gonna sit down and have a talk and go over the battery percentage. All right guys, so here we are, my favorite part of the day. We're going over the battery percentage and how it performed throughout the day. We might be surprised. So the screen should be popped up right here. And before we even jump on, let's just quickly go through my battery tier list to see how everything is you know, stacked up. So the 13 mini last outings, we got six hours screen on time. The 13 flat, we got nine hours, 34 screen on time. The 13 pro max, we got eight hours, 36 minutes screen on time. And the S22 plus, we got four hours, drastic change. <laughs> four hours, 32 minutes screen on time for the S22 ultra. And I'm shocked. I was thinking that it's a big chunky phone. I was expecting this to at least get me at least five hours, 30 minutes screen on time. But again, just so you guys know, yes, I know I could have charged the phone, but the purpose of this video is just to use the phone throughout the day with its basic settings, adaptive brightness, auto cellular data. If I get 5G, I get 5G. If I get LTE, I get LTE. Everything is just on auto mode because the phone has to like adapt to my usage. So I made sure I use the S22 Ultra for two weeks prior before making this video. So don't go in the comments talking about Siobhan, you should use the f I did, I used it for two weeks. And today was a very, you know, active day for TikTok. As you can see, we're on TikTok for 23 minutes, the camera for 27 minutes. And those were the major hitters when it came on to battery life. Let's also look at the last seven days when I wasn't doing a day in the life video so you guys can get a gist of what the battery life is really like if I'm just using it on a regular day. So for example, on the 20, june 23rd the screen on time was six hours and 37 minutes and that's just like using it regular on june 22 it was six hours and 28 minutes screen on time june 21st is five hours 39 minutes so you can see it's like roughly between five hours and six hours but if you really want to use the phone and like you know do stuff go out you're taking pictures and filming you could expect to only get around four hours and 30 minutes screen on time you at your place yet no no we're, we're about to pack the, the you all and head down bro all right bet bet all right so it's 7 40 p.m and i don't even think i'll link up with ty again for the rest of the day because he's not in toronto yet and he's all the way in guelph so yeah it's, it looks like it's a tomorrow thing for now i'm just gonna head down to balzac's for the first time actually i live in the area and i haven't went there what a shame to my surprise i love the overall aesthetic and like all the antique stuff in balzac's i checked out with samsung pay flawless as usual and i even just toured the little shop they had the coffee shop it looked really cool and we sat outside and drank a coffee and even ran into a subscriber every time i meet you guys that was a cool and great experience all right, nice meeting you though. Yeah, anyways, <laughs> just want to say that I was a fan. Since I had some time to kill before my trip to the Toronto Islands, I stuck around Balzac's for around 5 to 10 minutes, finished up my coffee, posted a story onto my Instagram, and finally, it's about time for us to head out. It's currently 8.23, and the ferry leaves at 8.30, but at least it comes in 30 minutes interval, so we'll probably yeah, hit the one that's coming for 9 p.m. This is actually my first time going to the Toronto Islands and I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty excited. This is the perfect time to even just put the S22 Ultra's camera to the test with a beautiful sunset and to see how that low light compatibility is with what Samsung likes to call nightography, which is basically their computational photography for night mode. So yeah, as you can probably tell, the S22 Ultra takes amazing pictures, great contrast, good dynamic range, and not too overdone with the vibrancy. It's kind of hit or miss when it comes down to the video aspect, but it makes up for it, especially with that 100 times zoom and just the telephoto lens in general. When it comes on to social media, at times the S22 Ultra can be a hit or miss. So what I would do is just record with the in-app camera itself. And then if I want to post to social media, I would upload that said video. I've got a lot of comments of people asking me, was this shot with the S22 Ultra? And whenever I take a video straight from the Instagram app, everybody's laughing at the image quality because it's just not optimized. Center Island was also pretty fun, but I wish I got here a little earlier because all the food spots were near closed and it's starting to get really dark out here, but at the same time, it's perfect to just take some night shots as well. We walked around for a couple of minutes, you know, just exploring the island and even my Galaxy Watch 4 was prompting me to ask if I wanted to track my walk. Pretty handy that it does it in the background. 
Even though it's literally pitch black at 9.34 p.m., I still took some pictures and tried out the stabilization, and this is at 4K 30 FPS without super steady on. To me, it did a really good job, especially in these circumstances. It's way darker than it looks in person, but the S22 Ultra manages to brighten up the scene just a little more, and in exchange, there's a little grain to the footage. So as we were walking around, Ty finally called and said, Um... I'm just gonna come tomorrow morning. And he even had the audacity to say, "Because um, I, I planned a video around this." Oh, thing. You could just, you could just act like it's the same day. Like, come on, bro. We don't fake things around here. This is the real day in my life series. We keep it true to the core. So I decided to just visit him the next morning. So stay around for that clip at the end of the video. Anyways, on the somewhat bright side, the S22 Ultra performed good today. Aside from it dying around 8.38pm, this phone is still a beast, powered throughout the day to the end and it definitely has one of the most versatile cameras I've used to date. If you're not taking videos and pictures throughout the day, I'm sure you'd get 6-7 to seven hours of screen on time easily. If you're a content creator or someone that enjoys mobile photography, you'll definitely need to bring some backup or juice. I think the overall Android experience is getting better and better every day, though social media support is still lacking on TikTok and Instagram. As I mentioned before, I posted a lot of pictures on Instagram and TikTok throughout the entire usage of the S22 Ultra. I did get some good replies back. And and did get some bad replies so it's very inconsistent but looking past that and looking past the green bubbles if you really just want a phone that could be very versatile and the s22 ultra definitely stands up and steps up to the plate as we're walking on the way home taking pictures just looking around adoring the beautiful city of toronto i finally got home at around 11 35 pm and i had 11 percent battery left it's been a long day, but I still need to offload the footage and get ready to go to bed for another busy day tomorrow. Anyways, now I'll just put the S22 Ultra to charge and hopefully the next iteration will have a bigger and better battery life and more support for in-app experiences. Okay, we'll turn off all the lights. Alright, turning 12 lights off. Yo, this guy, bro. You have to explain yourself to the vlog, bro. Oh, 7 p.m. Bro, bro, don't don't put me on blast. 10 p.m. It's a whole new day. Congrats, my boy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The boy with a new crib. Stop working. Nah, this is a vibe. I just touched down. I'm new in town, but you know where the mouth moves quickly. Just me and my ting, but not that ting, cause you know them tings move sticky. If you know, you know, that's why I move so incognito. 5% window, presidential.